hello beautiful people in this video i'll be sharing with you how to make your own distilled water at home so if this sounds interesting let's get started if you have some diy skincare or hair care recipes that you would like to try out and which requires distilled water you can make this and use this in any of your formulations that require distilled water we're going to be needing some kitchen equipment to make this distilled water and first we'll be needing a pot a pot with a transparent cover like this will be more appropriate but you can use any other pots that you have but this will make it easier to monitor the process so we'll be needing a pot you can use any other pot that you have and the next item we're going to be needing is this stainless bowl you can use any other heat proof bowl but a stainless bowl will be more appropriate for this you can also use a steaming bowl or steaming pot if that's what you have i'll show you what we're going to be using this for right away right now we're going to drop this stainless bowl at the center of the pot we'll be using to make the distilled water make sure that it sits well at the center of the pot it needs to be balanced to avoid movements while making the distilled water. And next, you're going to be needing clean water, clean purified water. You can use table water, but you can also use your tap water if it is clean. But make sure you use clean water. And then we're going to convert this clean purified water to distilled water. Do not use dirty water because it will affect your distilled water. You can also boil your tap water, filter and allow it to cool before using it to make your distilled water. But if your tap water is clean, go ahead. Now it's time to add our clean water into the pot. You're going to pour the clean water gently into the clean pot. We're going to pour the water into the sides of the pot, round the sides. And if the stainless plate moves, make sure you arrange it and bring it back to the center. The amount of water you put depends on how much distilled water you want to make but do not fill the pot to the brim. And next you're going to be needing a heat safe bowl. I'm using a heat safe glass bowl. You can use any other bowl that is heat safe. Don't use a plastic bowl because it can melt with the heat. So make sure you use a heat safe bowl. By heat safe this means that the bowl will not be affected by the heat you are going to subject it to that means it will not break and it will not melt due to heat now we are going to drop our bowl on top of the stainless bowl that we put earlier so we are going to drop it on top and this is the bowl that we will use to collect our distilled water now it's time to cover the pot but we will not be covering the pot normally the way you would cover a pot we're going to turn the cover of the pot or the lid of the pot upside down as we go on you would know the reason why we are turning the cover this way and not covering the pots normally after covering the pot you are going to put this on heat and boil the water this is why it's important to use a heat safe bowl because as we are boiling it if you use a bowl that is not heat safe it will be damaged in the process now as you can see our water has started heating up you can see that the top of the cover is already looking cloudy our water is heating up now as you can see the water is really boiling right now this is where it gets really serious as you can see as the water is boiling the vapor is getting to the top of the lid the top of the cover of the pot and as it gets to the top of the cover it is dropping back into the glass bowl that I dropped inside. The water that is falling from the lid to the glass bowl is the distilled water. Look at it closely. Droplets from the cover of the pot are dropping into the bowl that I dropped inside. The water dropping, those droplets of water are the distilled water. So you are going to leave the water to keep boiling and the vapor will keep getting to the top of the cover and it will keep dropping back into the bowl inside the pot. But as you can see, this is a really time-taking process. It is really slow. The droplets are really slow. So I'm going to show you a way that you can speed it up. There is something you can do to make the droplets drop faster. If you are finding this video helpful, please make sure you give it a like. Also drop a comment and ask your questions and subscribe for more. 
And back to our distilled water, I mentioned that there is a way to speed up the process to make the droplets drop faster. And to do that, we're going to be needing ice. So we're going to be using these ice blocks to speed up the process to make those droplets of water drop faster. We're going to drop the ice on the lid of the pot, on the cover of the pot. So what this ice does is that it's going to help the droplets of water to drop faster into the bowl. So this ice, because it is cold, it will help those droplets drop faster into our bowl. So our distilled water process is going to be faster. As you keep going, the ice will begin to melt gradually. So especially if you're using a pot like mine, which has a hole on the lid, you'll need to change the ice continuously so that the water from the ice will not get into your distilled water. So make sure you drain out the water from the ice at intervals. If that water gets into your distilled water, then your distilled water is no longer going to be a distilled water. If you don't have ice, then by all means, you don't need to use it. It is not compulsory, just that the process will take longer for you. And after about an hour, I'm going to take off the lid of the pot and then we'll see how much distilled water we've been able to get after one hour of boiling. And now, as you can see, this is our distilled water. I said that the droplets of water dropping back into our heat safe bowl is the distilled water. So as you can see, this is how much water we've been able to gather. So here it is. This is how much distilled water we've been able to get. As you can see, it looks really nice and clean. Trust me, this is going to be amazing in your formulations. So if you have any DIY skincare product or hair care product that you would like to try out that requires distilled water, you can make this and use this in your formulations. And if you don't know what to use this distilled water for, I have a number of DIY recipes on this channel that you can make this distilled water and use it for making all of these DIY products. And you can see some of them here. So in case you've seen a DIY recipe that required distilled water and you didn't have any, make sure you make this one and make sure you replicate that DIY recipe that you couldn't make because of distilled water. If you watched this video till this point, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was really clear and I hope you got what you were looking for. So please like this video, drop a comment, ask your questions if anything is not clear drop your question in the comment section. Also subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on more amazing videos like this. Turn on the notification bell so you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. Bye and hope to see you on my next video.